What's up you guys? So I'm gonna do a review on cuisines of Mediterranean right now. I know I'm past overdue because I finished this class three weeks ago. I'm now going into wines. A lot has happened but I'm just gonna do a quick little review like normal. So cuisines of the Mediterranean. Let me just say I was beyond excited to take this class because I'm obsessed. Like I'm obsessed beyond belief with Mediterranean food. It's my favorite Favorite to eat, favorite to cook with. It's just like my favorite overall of everything and I love hummus. Everything, I was super excited. This class was the easiest class I've taken at the CIA. The easiest class I've taken at the CIA. One, because there wasn't much to do. Like it was a lot of standing around, just kind of like staring at each other. Two, because I don't know, it was just so freaking easy. It's not complicated ingredients to work with. You're already pretty familiar with half the stuff that you're working with. That's me personally. Like, you've either worked with it in fundies or you've already done similar food. I'm sure you've done something similar in your life to what you're gonna do in this class. So, let's get started. The chef that I had specifically, he was hilarious and I was like super scared going into it because everybody said that he was gonna be super scary and hard and stuff but we got there and he was the nicest little old man and he like is just old and he just literally talked schwa on millennials the whole time of our class it seemed like he always just just saying like oh we don't know how to read like we're just chumps it was hilarious because he just had it out you know he's like just an old man who was in the military who doesn't like millennials so obviously he's just gonna call us out all day but that's besides the point he did a really good job at teaching us in lecture we would get in the class we would start lecture at like 6 30. he was just very relaxed about everything he's the type of chef that like he gives you recipes to follow but you don't have to follow them to a t because most chefs they do want you to follow their recipes to a t and they want to teach you the ways exactly how they know how to do it if that makes sense but this chef he was very just like chill and like let you do what you wanted to do but you just had to put out good food it was a fun class overall because it wasn't so hard and we were all just like chilling and we were a good class that so we got everything done really quickly so we were getting out really early every day i have nothing bad to say about it except for the fact that like it was kind of too easy so to sometimes we were just standing around like all right, are we ready to go yet? Like, are we just, I don't know if it was because we were fast or if it was just because there was not much to do. We got an A in the class. So let me just go through the course guide so I can help you guys out a little bit, understand exactly what we're doing. Days one to three is Middle East, Iran, and Persia, which I didn't know Persia was still a place. I thought it was just Iran. That was my favorite day because we were doing all these really cool flatbreads. We were making hummus. We were doing these really good little sampler plates that you would do. There would be like hummus and like baba ganoush and pita bread and pizzas and just amazing food. I think I ate more in this class than I did in any other class because it's my favorite and it was just delicious. And he had really good recipes that he was putting on his Moodle and everything, so it worked out perfectly. Days one is the Middle East, Iran, and Persia. Day two is Greece, so day three is Maghreb, so I don't even know what how to say that, but we were just doing that type of food for the first three days. Honestly, we everybody was so scared going into this class. Like, everybody was freaking out because the recipes were just weird. Like, even though they were really good, they were written out really weirdly, if that makes sense. So it was hard for us to under understand exactly how to put everything together. But we just kind of went in blind and we did successfully because he, he didn't even post our tracking schedule, which is telling us what station to go on with who. So our group leader just had to make up one and we just had to follow by that. So it didn't seem like he really cared that much. Days four through six was Spain. Day seven, eight, and nine were Southern, Central, and Northern Italy which we were doing obviously a lot of pasta, which was super fun. If you guys like making pasta. I learned so much about Italy because he was straight up an Italian guy, like straight up from Italy, so he was so passionate about it. And it was just mostly pasta, delicious sauces. Day 10 is Southern France. Day 11 is Central France. Day 12 is Northern France. Day 13 is review and discuss, blah, blah, blah. We made really good paella, which was like, 
Oh, it was so good. It's cool because you get to work with ingredients like you do. I don't think most people like make paella because they don't have paella pans. You know, it's just cool because like you see all these types of foods like or you go out to these types of restaurants and you never really actually get your hands on this type of food. You do it in this school. So it's super cool. We made gnocchi, we made mozzarella, we made ricotta, like just we did everything that was like super fresh and for the most part during our family meal we had got to take a lot of food home because it wasn't all being eaten because there was so much freaking food. Service wasn't too crazy. Uh, I don't know if it was because the bachelor students weren't on campus, but it wasn't the craziest. It wasn't that bad. Like, we managed to get through it really well, and I don't know if it's just because our class is good. We got our stuff done, we learned a lot, and three weeks flew by, and, you know, at the end of it, Chef told us that we were a great class, and we had a great group leader, and we worked well as a team, so it was all, it was all positive. Even though, like, a lot of people felt like you know, we could do more. I didn't really know what else there would be for us to do. It was just more of like the class not really, like this class curriculum doesn't really have enough, I guess. It's nice to have freedom in this class to do kind of what you please. And he was, he was hilarious because he was like old and just like never knew what we were saying. He was always like, eh? Literally people would be ordering food in class and it was so funny. People would be like ordering something, they'd be like, can I get the falafel? And then he'd be like, who? Oh! And then we, they'd be like, falafel. And he'd be like, ah! <laughs> and that was the running joke in our class. Like every time we would, every time we would see him, he, we would just be like, who? Oh! What? He just freaking never understood a word we were saying, but it's because he's obviously old and we talk fast as millennials, yeah. I don't really know what else to say about this specific class. It went by very quickly, but it was my favorite class. It was very easy. I really liked the chef a lot. He taught us a lot because he, he's like straight out of Italy. He knows exactly what he's talking about. He knows his schwa. I think the coolest part about this class was you got to work in like a firewood, you know, pizza oven where you like put your pizza in the firewood burning oven. And it's just super fun because you make a lot of flatbreads in there, like the pita bread and everything. I've never done that before, so you learn how to, that was like my, the main thing I struggled with weirdly was like, cause I was on the pizza station a lot. You learn how to roll out pizza dough, make pizza dough and everything. But sometimes it was a little bit of a struggle for me cause I'm just not used to working with pizza dough, but it was cool experience for sure. And then working in the oven, he got, he like let us, make our own pizzas and it was delicious. That whole class was just freaking delicious and I miss it a lot actually because I was eating every day. <laughs> it was amazing. My biggest advice for this class for sure would just be go and prepare and make sure you know what your chef expects from you. It's not a very hard class. Like I was more afraid of America's, the cuisine, because I wasn't as familiar with the type of cuisine. Study, know your shit, do your homework, even though we didn't do our homework. Um, <laughs> Just kind of like, you know, dive into this class as much as you can because your chef could let you do whatever you want or he couldn't. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video.